everybody. How you doing? God is so good all the time. From the rising of the sun and the, and the going down of the same. The Lord's name is to be praised. I believe it's Psalm 113 and 3. Praise God. Praise God. This is the Lord's name is to be praised ministry. My name is Vanessa McClendon. And I'm just glad to be here. And I'm glad you're watching this uh, broadcast. And we're going to go into Hebrews chapter 3 today. We'll let the Lord have his way. Praise God. God is so good all the time. Praise God. I thank the Lord. You know, if it had not been for the Lord's mercy, we all would be consumed. And his compassion fail not. And great is thy faithfulness. That new every morning. I think, you know, I just like I was saying, the new every morning that the Lord wakes us up. It's just his mercy. Praise God. Hallelujah. Father, we just thank you, Lord. Lord, look on the audience, those that are listening. Lord, have your way. You know the needs, Lord God. Oh, God, you're the one that, that healeth thee. You. You're the one that you provide your need. You, you promise to provide your needs according to riches. And glory by Christ Jesus. Oh, God, you're so good to us, Lord God. Uh, just just uh, making all kind of ways out of nowhere. A bright texture. Just, just doing a... Uh, just looking out for uh, family members and just Lord, we just thank you for your goodness and mercy down on the most of all all for salvation oh God hallelujah rain on the just dwells in unjust uh, blessing uh, causing food to grow on other both people's uh, garden rain on the just as well as the unjust oh God have your way draw us closer to you let the word be applied to our, my heart that I might not sin against thee Lord help uh, Lord uh, Oh God, look on our nations, Lord God. Look on our nation, one by one, name by name. Have your way, save, Lord God. Oh God, we thank you for all things. And open up my understanding of your prayer. We'll open up our understanding. Let the word uh, open up. Teach me to be able to teach, Lord God, even to, to people to get to understanding. And me also, in Jesus' name. Amen. You're so good. Thank God for Jesus. Get your Bibles out. And we're getting ready to study together. Praise God. We're going to go in Hebrews chapter 3. And it starts off. Wherefore, holy brethren, partakers of the heavenly calling. God, everybody gets an invitation of the holy, of the heavenly calling. You know, we're citizens of heaven. Praise God. When we come and we may accept a heavenly calling calling of the Lord that set our affection on things above and not on the earth for, for ye are dead, the old man died and your life is hid in Christ and then we know Christ is living through us praise God, consider the apostle, you're using the word for apostle for, for Jesus here, an apostle is one sent as a messenger and the father sent his son uh, to be the savior of the world he sent his son Praise God from heaven. He prepared the body. Praise God. And sent him down to be a savior. Save us from going to hell. Because the wages of sin is the wages of sin is death. The gift of God is eternal. This is a gift. God has eternal life. The gift of God. And the rest of that the verse and high priest. Jesus, high priest of our profession. He made petition uh, for us. Praise God. Make intercession for us. Praise God. Hallelujah high priest of our profession. In the Old Testament they had priests through the line of Levitical priesthood uh, through the line of uh, Levi. It's a Leviticus priesthood and they would offer animals. He had to go and offer a sacrifice for himself and offer a sacrifice for the sins of the people. You go into the holies of holies. But Jesus is a high priest of our profession. You know you make a confession of guilt but when a person makes a confession and give their life to the Lord. Just where it says Confession, but you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, believe in the heart of God, raised him from the dead. This is so the Lord, that I shall be saved. So confess, and you're living, you're living for the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. Come into the family of Christ. Praise God. And a spiritual, uh, born again from above. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is a spiritual birth. Uh, praise the Lord. And, uh, J and uh, Jesus is our high priest. Hebrews 4 and uh, 14 to 16 says, Seeing them that we have a great high priest that passed into heaven, Jesus, the Son of God, 
Let us hold fast to our profession, what you believe, praise God, by faith. Because we're kept, you know, we, we say through faith is through grace and not of yourself, lest any man should boast. We have nothing to boast in. Jesus completed the job and, and uh, died on the cross, suffered and died, and uh, paid the ransom for our sins. For we have not the, an high priest that cannot be touched uh, with the feelings of our infirmities. He understands what we're going through, the difficult things that we face. But when we uh, we give it to the Lord, and God takes us through. Mm -hmm. And sorry, but was in all points, every area that we were all tempted. Jesus was tempted in all points. Yeah, it was our sin. Praise God. But without, okay, showing us that we, he condemned sin in the flesh. We don't have to obey that old man anymore, that old flesh. That, uh, uh, when the enemy comes in and tries to just, uh, when, we, when we change, uh, 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 we, you know, our Father is, uh, is the Lord. When you come on the Lord's side, praise God. Hallelujah. You won't have to obey the devil anymore. Because we want, when you're born in sin and shaping in iniquity, you, you take on the nature of that. The enemy had that nature of the devil. You're going to do whatever he tells you to do. But when you're born again, you take on the nature of the Lord. And he comes in and lives or sanctify life through us. But was in all points tempted as we are. Mm -hmm. Yet without sin. Praise God. He didn't sin. So when you give your life to the Lord, you have a choice whether or not you want to, you know, you can, you, whether you want to do the wrong thing. Because Jesus broke that bondage that the enemy had upon us while we were chained. Okay? Let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace that we, we may obtain mercy. Come, you can come boldly now because one time we were enemies of the cross and we, you know, before we got saved, we couldn't come boldly to the throne of grace. God doesn't hear a sinner's prayer. You have to be a worshiper of him. That want him to come in your life. Cleans us. He washes us in his, he washes us in his blood. Praise the Lord. I'm going to I'm gonna grab this phone. I'm going to keep going. I ain't I'm not going to stop. We're going to keep going on. We're going to let nothing. I ain't let nothing stop me from continuing what we got to do. He says, this is more important. Praise God. God's word. I'm so sorry. I meant to, you know. But we, we're going on. Praise God. But in all points tempted like as we are, yet without sin. Yet without sin. Praise God. Let us therefore come boldly unto uh, the throne of grace. Praise God that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. God will help us. He will help us as we go through difficult things and trust the Lord. But come unto me, all ye that labor. All those people have been accepted, the Lord. Come unto, come unto you, all that labor and heavy lay, for I will you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn me. I'll make you more lowly and shall find rest for your soul. But when God comes in, Praise God. Uh, God um, God will give you give us peace and he will help us as we, we give him our trouble. He will because he's gonna work things out in our life for our good. You know, the devil mean it for good. I've seen my been Joseph. But you know, people man how his brothers and Joseph brothers, they meant to hurt their brother. But God used that situation and turned it for good. Preserve a nation. In our life as we go through different trials and things. God turn things around and work out things for our good. All things work together for the good for them that love God, which are called according to his purpose. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God has a purpose for each and every one of our lives. Well let us since we when you accepted the Lord, though let us therefore, because we take on the nature of the Lord, praise God. And we can Bible says resist the devil and he'll flee from us. God resists that devil from us when we, we submit to his word. Praise God. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy. God gives us mercy. He's merciful. He don't give us what we deserve, you know, but he loves us so much. He can forgive us, forgave us for our sins, and find grace. He gives us grace. He takes us through, gives us strength. His strength is, uh, is, is made perfect in weakness. I tell you, you got to glorify. Uh, I'm going to give, give, magnify the Lord and glorify the Lord. That the victory is already won. Praise God. Um, praise God. Therefore, he is able to save them that are to the uttermost that come unto God by him. Any, no matter, no level in sin that you, uh, 
that you, that God can't say. His hand is not too short that he can't save, and his ear is not too heavy that he can't hear. And seeing he ever liveth to make intercession for them. God that Jesus makes intercession for us through the Father. Praise God. First uh, John 1 and 3 says, That which we have seen and heard, declare we unto you, that ye also may have fellowship. This is a fellowship with the Lord, a relationship with the Lord, with us. And truly our fellowship is with the Father and with the Son, Jesus Christ. Praise God. Hallelujah. Fellowship with the Lord when the Lord comes in, relationship. Hebrews chapter 3 and 2. Who was faithful to him that appointed him. Praise God. So Jesus was faithful. And uh, God, uh, the Father, appointed Jesus. Praise God. And he was faithful to God. This is my beloved son, whom I am well pleased. Moses also, and also Moses was faithful in, his, in all his house. Made, uh, he was a servant to the Lord. He was faithful to the house of Israel. Praise God. Hallelujah. Um, we're going to read, um, I'm going to read um, Numbers chapter 12. And this is talking, this is going to the Old Testament. This is talking about when, uh, when uh, Moses' sister and brother said they they spoke out of place moses got married to an ethiopian woman and they spoke out of place but this i'm, I'm going to i'm trying to go i want to go a little further down from from that it's in chapter 12 of of, of um exodus starting at the sixth verse and he he shall okay and and ye shall keep it until the oh i think i'm in the wrong place Oh, well, no, I'm, I'm in the wrong book. I'm in Exodus. Supposed to be in Numbers. Okay, here we are. Okay. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy. We got this. We got this. Hallelujah. Okay, now. Now, this is in that same, uh, okay, now, verse 6 and 8, 6 to 8 of Numbers chapter 12. And he said, Hear now ye my word, if thou be a prophet among you. So this is describing... God is talking. Let me, let me read a little bit further up. And Marion and Aaron, that's Moses' brother and sister, you know, uh, spake against Moses because of an Ethiopian woman which he, which he married. Because, you know, uh, for he married an Ethiopian woman. And he said, has the Lord indeed spoken only to Moses? This is what they're saying. He got out of place. You know, that you have to, uh, you have to be, uh, you have to leave who God appointed in the position of loan. Has he not spoken unto us? This is the, uh, and the Lord heard it, heard what they said, the brother and sister, that God has blessed them to have a, a wonderful job for them. But they see something else. Uh, when Moses marries someone else, they're making a, uh, they're, they're talking about who he married. Praise God. Three, and the man, of, and the man Moses was very, he's very meek, humble, meek man, above all the men which were upon the face of the earth. And the Lord spake suddenly unto Moses and said to Aaron and to Miriam, Come out. So he's going to be, the Lord's going to smite uh, Miriam with leprosy. And uh, come out, ye three, unto the tabernacle of the congregation. And they and they three came out. And the Lord came in. He came in a pillar. Remember in the tabernacle of the pillar cloud by day and a fire cloud by night. Praise God. And the Lord came down in the pillar of the cloud and stood in the door of the tabernacle and called Aaron and Miriam. And they both came forth, which was in the tabernacle. And he said, it was at the door of the tabernacle. And he said, hear now my words. If there is a, now he's explaining to the people, to, I mean, not to the people, sorry, to Marion and, uh, and Aaron. If there be a prophet among you, I, the Lord, had made myself known unto him. So he was letting know if it's a prophet among you, he made himself known unto them in vision and in dream in the prophets. He made it known unto you. Okay. But this Moses, God spoke to Moses face to face. He said, my servant Moses is not so. He didn't speak to him in visions and dreams. Who is faithful. This is what the Lord is saying about Moses. He's saying verse uh, 12 and 7. He's faithful in all my house. This is God is saying he's faithful. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And he spoke to him face to face. No man, no other man had God uh, spoke to face to face but Moses. 
and they touch not my, my anointing, do my prophet no harm. So he's, they, they were speaking against the man of God, praise God. And God himself told his Marion and, and Aaron that Moses was faithful. And he was he's faithful in all the house, in all his house. This is in the house, this is Israel, God's people, praise the Lord. And he to let him know he know he had talked a bit to prophets and visions and dreams. But Moses, he, he just he spoke to him. Uh face to face praise god remember through a burning bush praise god hallelujah okay he's faithful in verse three and three of hebrews we're going back for this man was counted worthy you know this is speaking about jesus more glory he's more glory than moses praise god hallelujah phone is steady everything's going off i'm sorry let me cut this phone off completely okay i'm sorry i you know he was speaking to him okay that's all right. We, we going on with the help of the Lord. Praise God. I just thank God. Hebrews 3 and 3. For this man was counted worthy of, she's speaking about Jesus, more counted, more worthy than Moses. And we know that, of course, Moses is a servant of the Lord. When we're born again and, and accept Christ, we're servants of the Lord. Inasmuch that he has built the house, has more honor than a house. So God created everything. Everything. Praise God. Uh, everything and uh, and the, just the materials that were created by God. You know, you know how God created the world out of nothing. Praise God! Everything is created out of nothing. God just spoke the word, and uh, Jesus, the Word of God. Everything came came to being. Praise God! And the word, the world is held together by the Word of God. Praise God! Praise God! Hallelujah! Hebrews one and one says, God who at sundry times, different different manners he talked to people, in diverse manners, spake in times past to the fathers by the prophets. He spoke to the prophets, praise God, but these days he speaks to by his word. You can read the word. Has in these last days spoken unto us by his son. Jesus is the word of God. And it and is living and is alive. Praise God. Whom he has appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the world. Praise God. Everything exists because of the Lord. Everything was, was created out of nothing. Praise God. And uh, and uh, to make something, you have to make something that God had already created. Praise God. Hallelujah. And uh, for uh, three and three, for God, Jesus was kind of worthy of more glory. Of course, more, more than Moses. Moses was a servant in the house. Who, and God said he was faithful. Uh, his uh, Lord said unto him, Well done. And when is the scripture? Matthew 25 and 23 says, well, His Lord said unto him, That's what we want to hear. Well done, good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God is so good. Verse 4 of Hebrews. For every house built by some man, God built by some man, but he that built all things is the Lord. Because God has them in him, we live and move and have our being. He gives us the ability to be able to to uh, work and make things or move around. It's because it's God gets the glory. Praise God. He created everything. And his materials and things, the trees and things like that are here. But... God uh, gives the ability for you to even think of what you, he knows our thoughts before we think of, to, to think of our idea to put something together. It's the Lord. Praise God. And uh, Hebrews 3 and 5, and Moses verily was faithful in his own house. He was a servant, for he made, he was a witness, testimony of those things uh, which were to be spoken of. Praise God. Hallelujah. Uh, Hebrews 3 and 6, but Christ a son over his own house, over his own house. Whose house are we? Praise God. We're in the body of Christ. Praise God. Jesus is the head. We're in his body, members of his body. Praise God. If we hold fast, you got to hold fast the confidence and the rejoicing of the hope firm. We got to be rooted and grounded in the world and in, in, in the Lord. Praise God. On that rock, the rock is Christ. Praise God. Until the end. Verse 3 and 7, wherefore has the Holy Ghost, you hear this is what the Holy Ghost, that you 
Holy Ghost and Holy Spirit is, is uh, in the Trinity. Praise God. It's a He. It, uh, wherefore, as the Holy Ghost says, this is He's saying to us, uh, today, if you hear His voice, this is the Holy Ghost speaking. You know, when the Word goes forth, it uh, reproves the world of sin. That's the Holy Ghost. And, and praise God. And, uh, and uh, you know, and it's speaking to your heart. Praise God. Uh, today, if you hear His voice, praise God. Heart in your heart. Don't be fused when you hear God speaking to you. Praise God. Obey. Don't be fused. Don't be fused. Do something about it. Praise God. You know, God has blessings, forgiveness, healing, rest. In the, in the, in the, uh, there's rest for the people of God. Rest, rest from our own labors. Christ said, die. Praise God. He wants us to enter. When he offers salvation, he wants you to enter into his rest. Salvation. Peace. Grace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Harden not your heart the day you hear his voice. At the provocation. Remember in the, in the, the Old Testament. When the children in Israel. Uh, in the day of temptation in the wilderness, how they, they how the God ten times, uh, God in, in in Egypt, how God showed His self strong in 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 uh, in Israel, you know, and He delivered His people from uh, not Israel in uh, Egypt, praise God, He delivered them, took them through through the the ten plagues that were in uh, Egypt, and He protected them, praise God, and then uh, they took them through the Red Sea. And he fed them with manna, and they were complaining and complaining, and and provoking the Lord. And then we'd be better off going back to Egypt, and we would we miss that food, the leeks and the onions and all the other stuff that they were saying. Brought us out here to die, murmuring and complaining. Harden not your heart when God harden not your heart at the provocation, provoking God to get angry. And they end up staying in the wilderness for forty years, even though they, uh, yeah, forty years because of the unbelief. Praise the Lord. And uh, there were some spies during the time sent over uh, to spy out the land. And uh, they came back, 10 of the men came back with an evil report. And the people, they accepted the evil report. And they ended up staying over into uh, the wilderness for 40 years. Praise God. And, and 20 years old and above, they died in the wilderness. Praise God. And the, new, the, the children were able to go into the new land through, uh, through um, Joshua. Praise God. Heart, not your heart. This is the Holy Ghost says, verse 7. Today, if you hear his voice, well, God is speaking to your heart. He wants to deliver you. He wants to take you over. He wants to, he wants to bring you over to, um, the, uh, take you into the, um, uh, he wants to bring you over to the promised land. He wants you to, he wants, he wants to take his people over to the promised land. He has good, precious promises for the people of God. And he wanted he wants people that have not accepted him to give the life to the Lord. God has uh, precious promises for them. He, he's got he's got a um he, he God offers salvation. Praise God. He wants to uh, give you uh, wash you clean in His blood and to repent, come His way because you have to come through Jesus. The only person that God in heaven draws you, you have to accept Jesus. You come any other way, you're a thief and a robber. Salvation is offered through Jesus. And the Holy Ghost will let you know how you look to God. It let you know it proves your sin. Like an open book. When you look in the scripture, you can see how you look to God. And let you understand uh we lets us understand about Jesus. When your fathers tempted me, they were complaining. God would feed these people and feed manna, and he was complaining, all we have is just light manna to eat. Praise God. And manna means what is this? Praise God. And they were blessed. And God let them drink water out of a rock. Moses, one time they were so upset with Moses that they wanted to stone him. And he was God talked to Moses and told him to smite the rock. He smote the rock. Water, can you imagine water gushing out of the rock and feeding? You know, God is so great. He'll do a greater work in our life by trusting him in faith. And so the people continually complaining after God delivered them and just wonderful things in the wilderness. They kept complaining. And they're tested. You know, our faith is tested. And so the people, like us, they, ref they refused to believe. They refused to believe that they were able to take the land. It was already open for them. God had it for them. It was for them to have. Praise God. It's prophesied through Abraham that they was going to, uh, the land was for them. Praise God. Therefore, verse 10, therefore I was grieved in my 
with that generation. And you know, by faith, it's impossible to, by faith, it's impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe, and that he is a reward of them that diligently seek him. We got to have faith. We got to trust him. Trust the Lord with all thy heart. And lean not to thy own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him. He shall direct thy path. Praise God. There, wherefore I have was grieved. You know, bothers you when you, you're doing it. The Lord is doing all he, God is loving them and loving us. And then you, you, you complaining. And it's so good. Praise God. And they, and it says here, therefore I was grieved with the, with this, with that generation. It was in the wilderness and said, they do always err in their heart. That's where it comes out the heart. The sin is in the heart. Praise God. Praise God. And they have not known my ways. They haven't seek the ways of the Lord. Hallelujah. God is so good. Praise God. Hebrews 3 and 11. So I swear in my wrath, I they shall not enter into my rest. They're not going into the promised land. No, they are not going. These are the fathers that, that were disobedient, would not accept uh the god's word praise god and Psalm 95 is uh in eight it's like a repeat of that verse how god has that how it was put into hebrews it's, it's the 95 reasons this hard not your heart as in the provocation what happened in the wilderness These are, this is for our example that we don't lust at the evil things so when we look at the scriptures and we see the downfalls it's uh it's just for an example that you don't do the same thing Praise God. Trust the Lord. And that's the day of, of the temptation in the wilderness. This is a repeat of Hebrews. When your father tempted me and proved me and saw my works, they seen God's work mildly in Egypt. Great work. And the Red Sea opened up and I think the wind blew all, I don't know if it was the east wind, but it blew and held that, that uh, wall, uh, held the uh, Red Sea up like a wall. And nobody got their feet wet. The ground was dry completely. God was, see, so good. Protected them. Forty days long have I agreed with this generation and said, It is the people that do err in their heart, and they have not known my way. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. And the last verse of Psalm 95 and 11, kind of putting it with that Hebrew, uh, I think it's 9 to 11. These are almost like a repeat. Unto, unto whom I swear in my wrath, and they did not enter into their wrath, into the, into the promised land. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. I'm going to go into, um, I'm going into Numbers chapter 1, and this is when, uh, when Moses had smote the rock twice. You know, he only had to, and God wanted Moses to speak to the rock. Praise the Lord. And he smote that rock twice. And God, because uh, Christ only died, he died once, praise God. He was one time, that's all he took, to wash our sins, of, uh, to die for the sins of the world, praise God. So since he did, he, he, he didn't, he was so upset with the people, because they were, you know, for, he was with the people for 40 years, and he was just, and they were on the, they were on the brink of, uh, well, for 40 years, praise God. Let's read on down, we'll talk as we. Uh, he uh, go to oh, go to twenty uh, numbers twenty and and uh, we'll read starting at the first verse. Praise God! But he didn't do what the Lord said. Since he disobeyed, he wasn't able to go into the promised land. Now God let Moses see the promised land, but he couldn't go into it. You know, you know, God keeps His word. You know, we have, when God wants us to obey Him and take heed and, and do what He says. Praise God. But the Bible says he was faithful. So God says he was faithful. 20. Okay. And and uh, then came, praise God, then came the children of Israel, even the whole congregation to the desert of Zim. I think it's Zen, in the first month. And so, and his sister had, and Marion had died at that time, and she was buried. But we're going to try to skip down to, uh, okay, verse I'm trying to go to a place where I see where okay okay praise the Lord well okay I think I better go to five and therefore have you made us oh here these people complaining again verse two and there was no water for the congregation praise God 
and uh, they gathered themselves against Moses. They wanted to stone Moses. There's no water again. They were this trial. This, uh, and so and so the people charged with Moses and spake, saying, Would God that we had died? They're complaining again. Uh, when our brother died before, when our brethren died before the Lord. Okay, because you know people are, are dying. It's a forty years dying in the wilderness for twenty years and above, and God, they weren't going to go uh, into the, uh, the promised land. Okay, and so the people shot. Okay, four. And why have you brought up the congregation of the Lord un, into this wilderness? Now they're complaining. You brought us into the wilderness again, and and, uh, and our cattle to die verse uh to die and so five and that wherefore have we have we made us to come up out of egypt and to bring us into this evil place they're complaining 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 and moses went for the present they went moses and aaron went before the presence of the lord praise god and uh praise god and the assembly uh, at the door at the tabernacle of the congregation and they fell upon their faces and the glory of the lord appeared to them and the lord spake unto moses told Moses to do take the rod and gather thou the assembly together everybody together thou and Aaron thy brother and and brother and speak ye unto the rock I want you to speak to the rock before their eyes speak to the rock before their eyes and I shall give forth the water I shall give forth the water and thou shall bring forth to them water out of the rock so that thou shall give the congregation the beast to drink Moses took the rod before, uh, from before the Lord as he commanded him. And Moses and Aaron gathered the congregation together before the rock. And he said unto them, Hear now, ye, he said, Hear now, ye rabbles. Praise God. Must we fetch you water out of the rock? And Moses lifted up his hand, and his rock smote the rock. He hit the rock twice. God told Moses, the people were not going to, you know, they, they uh, complained so much that they weren't, God was not going to allow those people to go to the promised land. And then Moses got so upset in his emotions. See, we got to walk in the spirit. He can't, and I can't talk about him because there's times I said the wrong thing too. I thank the Lord. But God is able to help us. But God told him just to speak to the rock. People needed water. Animals needed water. And they were complaining. We need to go back home. Uh, I mean, not back home, but, you know, they brought us to this evil place out of, uh, from Egypt and just saying all kind of mean things. It's just stirred up Moses till he, he just, he, he smote the rock twice. And he called them people rebels. Ye rebels, must we fetch you water out of the rock? We see one thing about it, he wasn't giving God the glory. He had to, if you did it the Lord way, you can give God the glory. You know, way we witness to people, if you witness and do things wrong, you can't give God the glory. But he needs the glory. Praise the Lord. He's worthy of all praise. And the Lord spake unto Moses he, and, uh, and, uh, and Aaron, Because ye believe me not, or sanctify me in the eyes of the children of Israel, therefore ye shall not bring the... So Moses is not going to go himself, you know, in his emotions. Praise God. He can't go in the promised land himself. Praise God. And, the, and, those, and only their children are going to go into the promised land through... Joshua and Caleb, praise the Lord. They believed God when they, uh, during the time of the, the, the uh, spies, they brought a good report. They knew they were well able to possess that land. They trusted the Lord. That's how we got to believe God by faith. We had to put on that shield of faith, and we had to put on we had to put on the whole armor of God. Praise God, and the helmet. We had to put on everything. Praise God, and you know when you put on the shield of faith, it quenches all the fiery dark of the wicked one. Uh, Hebrews chapter twelve. Take heed, so you got the warning, brethren, lest there be any evil heart of uh, evil heart of unbelief. You see what happened to them when they don't believe when they don't believe the Lord. The children of Israel not believing the Lord. Uh refusing to believe God, praise God. And um, unbelief in departing from the living God. Take heed, brethren, lest there be in any of you in an evil heart of unbelief in departing from the living God. Praise God. So you turned away. From the living God, going by your own minds, the way that seemeth right unto the man, but the way thereof is the ways of death. Praise God. Verse 3 and 13. But exalt, we had to encourage one another, get strength, iron sharpening iron. Uh, exalt one another daily, every day. Praise you. That scripture about, yeah. Uh, 
exalt one another, encouraging one another. Praise God. While it is called, you know, uh, the Bible says, forsake not assembling yourself to, as the manner of some has. You know, we had to, we had to uh, assemble together, encourage each other in the Lord. Praise God. While it's called today, right now, lest any of you harden through the deceitful, it's the deceitful of sin. Deceitful of sin. Praise God. Encourage one another. Let you, less of you, in case there, you be hardened through the receipts. The deceitful sin is deceitful. The heart is desperately know it. The heart is, is, is desperately wicked. Who can know it? God knows. He knows our heart. For we are made partakers. God made us a relationship. Partakers of Christ. Praise God. Who is suffering. And the difference in, in for him uh, uh, washing our sins away. If we hold the beginning of our confidence, I'm going to accept the Lord till the end. He that do it to the end, and the same shall be saved. What is said today, it today work the salvation is, is uh, you know when the Lord deal with your heart right now. Today, if you hear His voice, harden not your hearts in the provocation. How those people wouldn't listen to the Lord, and they could went into the promised land. Uh, they they listened to the evil report. For some, with the some that heard Jacob, I mean. J, uh, Jacob, no, Joshua, and Caleb. They believed God. Uh, for some, when they had heard, okay, let me read this. They believed God. For, for some which had heard did provoke, but how be it not all that came out of Egypt by Moses. We know those two, Jake, uh, we know that Caleb and, and uh, Joshua believed God. They believed God's word. And uh, praise God, and they had different a mixed multitude that came out too with Moses. Praise God, and they were a problem. Uh, we have like three more verses, and we're gonna wrap. And uh, Lord willing, we're gonna be done. But the word is so rich, it's so good. It's just feeding the inner man. Uh, but with whom was he grieved for forty years? But it was not with them that sinned, whose carcass fell in the wilderness. These people twenty years and above. They died in the wilderness, in the wilderness, praise God. Grieve the Lord, praise God. He was so merciful, so good to the people. Uh, but with whom was he grieved 40 years? Was it not with them that had sinned? Yes. Whom carcass fell in the wilderness? That's how I'm sure. Okay, Hebrews uh, 3 and 18. And to whom swear he that, that they should not enter into his rest? They didn't enter into the promised land. God and had peace with God, praise God. But to him, to them that believe not, they went into with us. God uh, comes. Uh, God offers salvation as He deals with uh, the unsaved. Word come on into the ark and come and come and get right with the Lord. Give your life to the Lord. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the light. And repent of your sins. Uh, uh, John the Baptist uh, uh, let us know you repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Praise God. He's so good. Hebrews 3 and 19. So we see that they could not enter. So we are not let. Uh, we see for this. This is our example. Praise God. That we don't lust at the evil things. We believe God. Praise God. Hallelujah. For we see that they could not enter into in, enter because of unbelief. Praise God. Praise God. But God wants us to get. God wants to offer born to be saved. Be born again. Praise God. Spiritual born again. Praise born again. Baptized by God's Spirit into the body of Christ. Have life is in the Spirit. Praise God. We have victory in Christ Jesus. Praise God. The people came up to the border. Uh, uh, I think it's Cater by Dean, by whatever the name is. They couldn't come in. Praise God. Praise God. Uh, we have to trust the Lord. Praise God. We have to believe God. God has rich and precious promises for the people of God. God bless you. Love you, and I'll be on next Wednesday at the same time. And on, on, uh, and I'm gonna put my broadcast on Facebook too. And I'm on Sundays. I'm on at ten o'clock on on Facebook, and I'm in the uh, Sunday school teaching at ten o'clock. My pastor's on at at twelve o'clock. Elder, I'm superintendent of the Reginald Bradley, our church's Gospel True Light Church of God in Christ, located at 1940 uh, Puritan. We'd love to have you, and we do social. Uh, um, we, we do social distance so we will offer you a, a, a mask if you don't have one glad to offer you and a mask 
Our First Lady, uh, Dorothy Bradley, is on, on Tuesday, and she's teaching prayer and Bible band. We love to have you. God bless you. I appreciate you listening. Keep me in your prayers. Bye-bye.